Starting your own business alongside your full-time Germany is a great idea. It allows you to earn extra money and test if your business idea works before fully committing to it. In this video, I will show you how to start a side business, important things to consider and most importantly, whether it's worth it or not. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Essen. I'm a researcher and on this channel, we discuss business, investing and personal finance in Germany. First, let's address the main questions. What do you need to start your own business in Germany. What are the important factors to consider and how do taxes and social contributions come into play? Then I'll provide you with concrete examples to calculate when it's actually worth it to start a business in Germany. If you already work 40 hours in your main job, it might be challenging to open a restaurant or a retail store as a side business. In that case, it's probably best to start a business that can be comfortably and cost effectively started from your own home. In general, you have two options, freelancing or running a business. I'll provide you with some examples as well. John who starts a freelance business and Sam who opens an online e-commerce shop as a business. But first, let's discuss the distinction between these two. Freelance professions include what are known as catalog professions such as engineers, lawyers, tax consultants, doctors, journalists, translators and many others. It also includes professions like web designers, musicians, teachers and others. On the other hand, business professionals are those with profit-making intent such as trade, craftsmanship or industry. For example, running an online shop or earning money through advertising and through YouTube. There are many business forms that you can choose from. I've discussed them here. However, to get started, step one is choose between a freelance profession and a business. Step two, determine the necessary permits and licenses that you may need. For example, a craftsperson needs a master certificate. Step number three, create a business plan where you outline your business idea and especially focus on the financing. Step four, choose the legal form. One of the easiest ways to get started is to register yourself as a sole proprietor. Whether as a freelancer or a business owner, you need to register your self-employed with the tax office. In both cases, you will have to fill out the tax registration form and the tax office will determine which category freelancing or business applies to you. In my case, I have registered an advertising agency as a sole proprietor. You can learn more about my business in this video. Now, if you want to keep your main job and only pursue self-employment on the side, you generally need to inform your employer. Although it's not legally required, it might be stated in your employment contract. So you should notify your employer. In most cases, your main job and your side business should not compete with each other. For example, if your main job is engineering, you probably cannot take engineering orders as a side job unless you have an agreement with your employer. Also, keep in mind that you usually can't use the data or information from your main job for your side business due to confidentiality. If you're running your new business from a rented apartment, check if you need to inform your landlord. You can find this information in your lease agreement. And if you own the property, it's a good idea to inquire with the building department to ensure if it's allowed. However, as long as your business doesn't cause disturbances to your neighbors or attract excessive amount of customers, it's unlikely going to be a problem. You should also find out which professional association is responsible for you. It's also important to note that while on vacation from your main job, you should not work on your self-employment. Vacation is meant for rest and relaxation and this is legally mandated. The same applies if you're on sick leave from your main job. There are generally limits on how much you can work and earn through self-employment while also having another job. Additionally, as an expert in Germany, your residence permit also plays a role whether you're allowed to start or register a business in Germany or not. If you are on a student visa, you need special permission from your university and the immigration authority to work as a freelancer in Germany. For blue card holders, registering a business or doing freelance work is not allowed as they are only allowed to work for a specific employee mentioned on their residence permit. For all other permit holders, you can have a look at your residence permit and search for a web static guide get started. If it's written, then you are allowed to work as a freelancer or start a business in Germany along with your full-time job. You can also book an appointment with me if you want to learn more about your case. Generally speaking, if you have a full-time job of 40 hours a week, you can work an additional 8 hours per week in your second job. 
like a mini job as I have shared in this video. With this mini job, you can earn up to 530 euros per month without paying any additional taxes or social contributions. However, this rule does not apply if you become self-employed part-time. In that case, you can invest as much time and effort as you want into your self-employment and earn as much money as you can as long as it doesn't interfere with your full-time job. But be careful, this rule doesn't apply to students, retirees and some other cases. There are legal limits in terms of time and finances for those situations, especially regarding social and health insurance. Please hit the like button if you're getting value from this video and consider subscribing. Now, as long as you're employed in your full-time job, you're covered by social and health insurance. However, your health insurance will evaluate your self-employment and determine if it's still qualifies as a part-time job. If it doesn't, you will have to pay your own health insurance contributions. Usually, self-employment is considered part-time if you spend less time on it than your full-time job, if you don't have any employees, or if your employees collectively earn a maximum of 530 euros per month, or if your profits are lower than your income from your full-time job. These factors naturally set a limit to how much you can earn from your part-time self-employment. Additionally, some self-employed activities may require mandatory contribution to pension insurance insurance such as for certain trades. It's best to check with the German pension insurance to see if you need to pay additional contributions. Now let's talk about when part-time self-employment becomes financially worthwhile. We'll use two examples. John who works 35 hours as an engineer in his full-time job and wants to start working as a freelance web designer on the side. And Sam who works 40 hours a week as an SAP consultant and wants to open an online e-commerce business. In their full-time jobs, John earns a gross salary of 4,500 euros which amounts to 2,900 euros net and Sam earns a gross salary of 6,000 euros, which amounts to 3,600 euros net. Both are single with no children, so they fall under tax class number one. We want to determine how much money they can earn from their part-time self-employment while minimizing time and tax burden. The first option is to consider the small business regulation, which exempts them from paying value-added tax VAT if the total turnover does not exceed 22,000 euros. This relieves them from some administrative work. If they were to charge VAT, it would have been additional costs and they would have to pay it to the tax authorities and pass it on to their customers. However, by using the small business regulation, they can avoid this. It's important to note if their turnover exceeds 22,000 euros in the previous year and is expected to exceed 50,000 euros in the current year, they will no longer be eligible for small business regulation and will have to pay VAT from the next year onwards. As for trade tax, Sam would need Need to register his online shop and pay for trade tax. Fortunately, there is a tax exemption threshold for individual entrepreneurs like Sam if their annual profit does not exceed 24,500 euros. Then he doesn't have to pay the trade tax and even if his online shop eventually performs better and exceeds the profit threshold of 24,500 euros, he only has to pay trade tax on the profits that exceed that threshold. Sam also has this advantage as his online shop is considered as a small business. Small business means means that the annual profit is below 24,500 euros or the annual turnover is below 600,000 euros. This helps him build a business alongside his main job because he has two advantages with a small business status. Doesn't have to register with a commercial register and he doesn't have to do the complicated double entry booking. Now let's talk about income tax. John and Sam need to pay taxes on the profit from their part-time self-employment in addition to their gross salary from their main jobs. Let's assume a year Early turnover of 20,000 for both Sam and John. And let's deduct all of the costs that they have for their self employment, such as website development, hosting, operation costs, and advertising costs. Their costs are relatively low since they both operate their business from home. Let's estimate Sam's cost at 5,000 euros per year and John's cost at 1,000 euros per year. Subtracting these costs from the profit leaves John with 19,000 euros of profit and Sam with 15,000 euros of profit. We then add these profits to their respective gross salaries and calculate the income tax using the income tax calculator. With their full-time job, Sam and John can deduct 
costs like travel costs, equipment costs and many other things. Let's say they consider 1000 euros in such expenses. If you also want to know about the things that you can claim in your tax return, you can download my free ebook on tax return in Germany. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Coming back to our calculations, John would have to pay around 11,500 euros in taxes, while Sam would have to pay around 15,600 euros. In addition to income tax, they also need to consider social security contributions, which are already deducted from their gross salaries in their main job. You can use ND online gross net salary calculator which can determine these contributions. After calculations, this gives us the annual net income which is approximately 44,000 euros for John and 51,300 for Sam. If we divide this by 12 to get the monthly net income, John earns an additional 800 euros net per month while Sam earns an additional 603 euros net per month. This difference is due to Sam having higher costs for his online e-commerce business and earning more from his main job, resulting in higher overall taxes. So part-time self-employment is still more financially rewarding than a regular side job like a 530 mini job. However, keep in mind that starting a part-time self-employment requires more time and dedication. I have simplified many things and made rough cost estimates. But if you have any ideas or financial experiences with part-time self-employment, feel free to share them in the comments below. As I mentioned earlier in this video, if you want to start a business in Germany, you have to register it first. In this video, I share exactly how to do that. So thanks for watching, bleib gesund and I'll see you in this video.